Game Up Hard Hydration. If you haven't tried Game Up, then you are missing out. Imagine your favorite seltzer and your favorite sports drink had a baby, but it's way better than that. Each can is 110 calories, low carb, 4.9 ABV. It's a nice light drink that is not light on flavor. Game Up comes in fruit punch, orange, lemon, lime, and grape. Pick it up at drinkgameup.com or at your nearest liquor store. TNA Rebellion taking place. Oh, fuck. That's on Sunday as well. <laughs> ah, well, that's what happens when you don't fully read your graphics before you put them up. Another huge card. Dave, we'll start with the pre-show because listen to this match. Mm. ABC of Ace Austin, Chris Bay. They are teaming up with Leon Slater to take on the Rascals and Myron Reed on the pre-show. Oh, that pre-show. is a hell of a match to put on a pre-show to get people to buy it. As much as I enjoy ABC and I saw Leon Slater this past weekend on GCW looked great. I've got to go with the Rascals and Myron Reed in this one. Can't disagree on that. I was going to go read all day. Crazy Steve versus Laredo Kid for the TNA Digital Media Championship. One championship too many. Crazy Steve, great talent. Mm-hmm. Laredo Kid, great luchador. I'm, I'm picking Crazy Steve just because yeah. I feel like it'd be a bigger star to take it off of him. I, I can't disagree with you. I just feel like the stories with Crazy Steve, from what I've seen. We've got Spitfire, which I wish I could find the name. I believe it's Jody Threat, and I wish I knew the name of the other lady versus the Decay of Rosemary and Jessica Havoc. Okay. TNA Knockouts Championship. I got the Decay in this. I'm just a big Rosemary and Jessica Havoc fan. I'll go a step further. I've been seeing a lot of these last night, these cryptic videos. Uh, appearing on TNA where someone looks like they're possibly popping in. Does it say lights out in the video? I don't remember why. What's... Because I found this cryptic video today that I was trying to share with you. I couldn't uh. find a way to put it in here. And on the site, when you go through the whole card, go to TNA wrestling.com, click on TNA rebellion. It says lights out who will show. It was the next segment. So let's go there. It was the next segment. So that's my point. So I'm going to agree with you on decay because When you're doing those kind of type videos, that makes me think there's somebody kind of supernatural or someone about to appear. So I think they're going to come in after Decay celebrating and whoever they are are going to face off. with. Ooh, do you have a do you have a guess who is showing up? Where's Havoc been? I assume she's wrestling. She's in the Decay match. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ooh, who is that? Sue Young. Oh, yeah. Good. I forgot about Sue Young. Yeah, I was on the TikTok live before this and I was trying to pull it up, trying to find a way to embed it, but I couldn't. And I'm glad you caught that. I was actually watching TNA on the tablet over here as I was setting that up. This is a match between former friends. I didn't realize this. I haven't watched a ton of TNA. But everybody's favorite, Joe Hendry, is going up against one of my favorites, Rich Swan. I think this is going to be another good match on the pay-per-view. I got to agree with you. The Lights Out segment could, you know, be the bridge from the Decay match to the main card. I don't see how Joe Hendry doesn't win. Everybody that's in the Mm. Discord, that's in the TikTok lives, is always talking about how they believe in Joe Hendry. You know what's funny about that? I'll agree with you, but I'm going to go a step further. I actually just saw a thing on Instagram. Uh, a wrestling historian was putting some stuff up with Joe Henry, and he said, I have no idea why Joe Henry is going viral on TikTok, but I'm here for it. So it's kind of funny that you're saying you're seeing a lot of Discord about that. So that is getting around. So if Henry's got that kind of momentum, then I'd say you got to go Joe Henry. Yeah, he's got the great entrance videos, all of that. Yeah. Next matchup, Full Metal Mayhem, Eric Young versus Frankie Kazarian. These two guys are TNA names from way back. Mm-hmm. I think this is going to be a hell of a match. I Ooh. feel like I pick Eric Young to win, but it's a toss up. It could be Kazarian. Either way, it's going to be a hard hitting spectacle of a match. Moose is the champ right now. I'll go Eric Young. Because they're, I believe they're in the same group. I haven't seen it pop up a ton on TikTok, but I'll have to keep an eye out for it now. TNA Tag Team Championship. Eddie Edwards and Brian Myers are putting it up against Speedball Mountain, Speedball Mike Bailey, Trent Seven. Edwards and Myers are the champions. Do you see those titles changing? No. I like Speedball. I like Trent Seven. But the other two are part of that group with Moose. They're more of a tag team. And I don't think TNA is going to put it on two people who are just great wrestlers. 
Uh, I feel like there needs to be more established team there. All right. I I got Speedball Mountain. So yeah. the first one we've disagreed about on this card so far. And next up, TNA X Division Championship. Mustafa Ali defending his title against Jake Something. Jake Something, huge hulking wrestler. Almost like the prototype WWE 80s wrestler. But Mustafa Ali has been on such a run since breaking away from the wwe got the x division title here and i see him retaining it can't argue that got the momentum the match i think i might be most excited for on this card if i haven't already said that josh alexander versus alexander hammerstone last man standing been a great feud i love this matchup i feel like hammerstone takes the win here i'm gonna go with alexander i think hammerstone has been uh, he beat him up the last time i believe and he's been uh, beating up other people and putting, you know, like that wrestling headgear on them and kind of messing around. So I'll say Alexander gets a little revenge here. TNA Knockouts Championship, Jordan Grace versus Steph Delander. I'm excited for this match. Delander has had quite a run on the indies in GCW with Matt Cardona. They have brought that act to impact TNA impact. I don't think Steph Delander is going to get it done versus Jordan Grace, though. Steph Delander is going to be a great opponent, but she's just going to come up a little short. I don't think it's her time yet. I'm going to agree with you on this. Main event, TNA heavyweight championship. Moose versus Nick Nemeth. Love this matchup. I want Nemeth, Nemeth to win. I like. I, I, I would not mind if Nemeth win. I want to go Moose, though, for now. I think Nemeth has to continue to chase. All right, that's what I was debating, because I want Nemeth. I haven't quite made my pick, because I can see Moose winning and continuing that chase. I'm going with my gut, though. I'm going to pick Nemeth just to be different. Hope you're right.